How's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up conversion tracking for Google ads on your Go High Level Funnel. So let's say I have a campaign running on my Google Ads account. This is my Google Ads account. And for that, I need to set up conversion tracking. But basically what I'm saying is whenever I send traffic to my landing page from Google Ads, I want to track like how many people took an action. And by action, I mean how many of them filled out a form, how many of them uh, scheduled an appointment. It could be anything, right? purchase schedule appointment call submit form you know anything so i'm going to talk uh, i'm going to talk about how to set that thing up it's basically the same process for every all kinds of actions that i just uh, talked about but i'm going to do it for scheduling an appointment so just to give you an idea i'm going to go to my high level funnel this is the funnel i uh, let's say i'm running ads on this page right so what i'm going to do is if they book an appointment they go to thank you page and based on their uh, going to thank you page, I'm gonna create the conversion tracking. So let's go back to Google Ads. And now this is the new screen. Uh, if you don't have it already, you can change the appearance from here. But Google Ads is uh, shifting towards this screen and it, they're not using the previous UI view, uh, which I'm not a big fan of. So let's, let's go to goals from left, conversions, summary. And I'm gonna say new conversion action. And now I'm gonna select website. And now it's gonna ask me what is my funnels domain. So make sure you have a subdomain set up for your funnel or maybe a, a root domain if you like. So it has to be, uh, it has to come with a subdomain. By that, I mean, my mine is a uh, HTTPS appointments.ashaseeb.com. That's my subdomain. So I'm gonna copy this from here. I'm gonna go back, put it here and say scan. And now it gives me a few more options. So create conversion actions from web app and uh, events. So I'm going to go with manual conversion tracking setup. Basically, it gives me more control. So there are a few types of actions it wants to assign to this conversion tracking. Uh, there, there is a purchase, add to cart, begin checkout. As I told you, there's lots of conversion actions that you can track, uh, you know, track for. Submit lead form, book appointment, sign up, request quote. So I'm going to go with book appointment. So I'm going to call my conversion tracking that's, my, uh, that's the name of my conversion tracking action. And I'm going to not use a value or maybe if I'm charging money for each appointment, let's say I charge 49 pounds for each appointment that I have. So I can say the value for every conversion that I get for every schedule appointment is 49 pounds. Uh, count every or one it depends on how you want to track it. In my case, I would say every because no matter uh, if, if the same person books twice or thrice or more than that, uh, it will be counted as a conversion because that person is paying me money to book every time, right? But if it was a form submit action, let's say submitted lead form, uh, no matter how many times that person submitted the lead form, they didn't buy anything, right? So that will be counted as the same person or one lead, right? So in that case, it would be one, but I'm doing it every. Don't have to, uh, you know, go through these. Uh, enhanced conversion, I'll try to cover that in a separate video. Attribution should be data driven. So it's recommended as well. When you're done, just hit done and then say agree and continue. And now it's going to ask you to set up two tags. The first one will be set up on the funnel. The second one will be set up on the thank you page. So let's talk about it. So I'm going to click on setup and I'm going to copy this, go back to my high level screen. So this, this tag that they gave you, if, uh, if you just read the instructions below, it's a Google uh, tag for this account, copy and paste every page of your website, or in this case, your funnel immediately after the head element. So, if I go back to my high level account, so I need to put it on every page, right? So either I can do it manually by going through each page or I just could go to settings and you know, where it says head tracking code, just paste it there and hit save. Don't forget to save it, right? And now the second part is I'll just go back and now I'll just test installation. It takes some time. Uh, sometimes it takes five minutes or so to you know for the tag to be configured and be fired from my funnel as you can see this was done for my side and the second one is see event snippet so i'll just do this copy this and this is the actual conversion action right so what where, where do i put it so let's think about it they go to my booking page they book they select date and time 
they submit the form and then they go to the thank you page. Basically, when they load the thank you page on their screen on their computer, that's when this code will be fired. And then the, that's this code basically sends a conversion action back to your Google Ads account, right? So I'll just go back to high level and then I'll just open this in a new tab. And uh, when this page loads, I will come over here that says tracking code. That's my thank you page. So basically when this page loads, that will be counted as a conversion. So I'll just paste it here, save, and don't forget to publish because it, if you don't publish, it won't be live, just be saved as a draft. So now I'll just go back to my Google Ads account, hit done. Now everything's done. You don't have to test it, but if you do want to test it, I'll show you how. So again, if the first conversion comes through, if the first conversion kicks off, this tag is going to be active. But if you do want to, you know, make it active right away, what you need to do is you need to click on troubleshoot. And then you need to click on this and then give it your URL. So you're testing it yourself, right? So I'll just do HTTPS. That's my, uh, that's my URL and it'll show you now. Okay, that's the one, right? So, so as you can see, my uh, you know page is on debug mode. So I'll just select the date and time. I'll just do this. That's it. I'll just do my phone number. That's okay. That's a test, obviously. And then I'll just schedule meeting. So what will happen now is it'll go to the thank you page, and the thank you page is loaded now. As you can see, this is the testing screen over here, and that's the name of my conversion Ashbrook appointment conversion. That's the that's the one I set up with, right? So. I'll just hit continue and I'll just hit finish and then it'll say conversion action is sending data to Google Ads. So I'm sure now that the conversion action is working. And also if you come over here, the inactive tag will be the inactive, you know, mark will be gone from the, the appointment booking conversion tracking that I just set up. So that's how easy it is to set up a conversion tracking. So it's the same process for any other, like uh, you have a landing page with the form and you have a thank you page. Form submit goes to thank you page, basically same thing instead of book appointment, you just need to select anything else like request quote or submit lead form or something like that. So the process is same for all the others, but just the conversion category changes. So I hope this video was helpful and I'll come back with much more Google ad videos from now and subscribe if you are waiting for those. So yeah, see you in the next one.